I'm gonna say earlier I said avoiding politics. This was a political episode. <laughs> Darn it. Yes, well, Darn it. Know, but I know there's not that. Many. Yeah, it, it's, it's actually. Just didn't listen. Well, yeah, the first thing I, I I took notes as usual. The first thing I have written down is just yak yak a stand. At the fact that they would actually uh, use the stand at the end. You know, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Although, like I said in the chat, stand just means land of. I I heard that somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I first thing I wrote down was the another spike door slam joke. Oh, was there another one? I missed yeah, there's yeah. another one. This, that happens so often. This is the second one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Spike. Yeah. Yeah, and so we saw the return of Cherry Jubilee. That was oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. That was yeah. Uh, season two she was last in, right? Or no? Yeah, the, uh... Yeah. The, uh, the last roundup where she first appeared. Yeah. Yeah, the last roundup. So, okay. uh... <laughs> I'm just going through my list. The next thing, of course, was... I, I don't know about you guys, but the whole time I was thinking, wow, these Yaks are jerks. They need to detain them or, like, go to war with them or something. I was making jokes about dropping bombs on Yakistan. <laughs> and then they actually <laughs> then they actually declared war. And I, that was, like, the, the most unexpected was, like, thing. Right in the conversation with the, where they declared war, I was starting to Google the image from Futurama about <laughs> war being declared. Yeah, I, I did not see that coming. <laughs> that, I saw that coming perfectly. I wanted war, not, like... Doing nothing. No, I didn't really realize like you can talk about like war in a TDY show because you know war is pretty bad and like people like you can be in a war torn country and still have television. So I don't know. There's a yeah. war going on right now. Yeah. So serious. Yeah. True. Um. But yeah, I would have declared war against them. They weren't making any effort to. Well, yeah. Realistically, yeah. realistically, I would have just detained yeah. them and like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they were terrible. Deported them. <laughs> They're terrible. Yeah, they were terrible. Yeah. God, nerd worse. So, like, the, unfortunately, the episode was probably like the, one of the most predictable of the season. I think we all knew Pinkie Pie yeah. would somehow save the day in the end. So. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Pinkie Pie knew R. Yeah. yeah, that was interesting. Uh, is, <laughs> I didn't really see that coming. But uh, then, then I just really quickly, like for a second, I saw in the background Cloud Chaser as a Wonderbolt. I didn't cloud see that. Chaser? Yeah, it, it looked like that. Cloud Chaser. Obviously, I'll have to go back and, you know, freeze frame it what, or whatever. That, but... that picture where they were saved when they yeah. fall down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when they fell into the ravine, they were saved by the Wonderbolts, apparently. I don't know. Maybe Pinky was making a joke since she made a bunch of other stuff, like joining yeah. a band or something. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, one of them looked like Cloud Chaser. Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I don't know. Hey, so, like oh, so, so did anyone catch the Beatles reference? Yeah, was that the band thing? I, I didn't catch yeah. it, but I think you mentioned it. Oh, the Beatles. Yeah, the oh, Beatles. yeah. The, oh, I got, oh, I got it now. I was uh, Ringo Starr and all the others was exactly like the band members from the Beatles. <laughs> that was yeah. so cool. I just noticed that now. Yeah, so in addition to like random cameos, Cadence was there just like for a second, but she had lines and everything. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, I was did, like, wait, 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 wait where, where, where did she come from? I mean, I, I yeah. didn't even know. So just appeared, like, snapped. I didn't see her walk with Pinky. Yeah, I know, right? It's just out of nowhere. They must, like, record their lines for the season all at once, because I don't think they'd take her to the studio just for that, like, two lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're a voice actor, why, why wouldn't you just buy a nice microphone and then send audio files to that's, work? That's what Tara yeah. Strong does. Yeah. yeah. Like, like we have nice microphones. We uh, don't yes. voice back. I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> I, I think anything that uses USB isn't really a nice, like that nice of a microphone. Eh. I, mean, I mean, we could use it for a low budget show. Yeah. 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 All right. So I think that one of the biggest things in this episode, at least to me, was the secret party basement with files on every pony. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Pinkie Pie yeah. is confirmed Pinkie for NSA. Pinkie Pie is the NSA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the well, pie confirm NSC. Yeah, I, that, as big as that was, I almost didn't really like that surprise because I kind of like to think of Pinky as this magical fictional character who can just remember everything and do everything perfectly. But no, she just keeps files in everyone. That's kind of disappointing to me. Yeah, so that's how she remembers. But Twilight's everybody. afraid of. Uh, what was it? What was, was it? Afraid of? What was it? I remember uh, that. But wait, it's quesadilla. What's yeah, that? Quesadilla. It? I was thinking queso because she was I afraid of cheese. Geeks. So That's much weird. cheese. <laughs> yeah, she was afraid oh, of cheese. Yeah. Quesadillas. yeah, baby. Jeez. Put put on some cheese. That's gonna be some weird <laughs> family. Love back. quesadillas. Oh wait. Tootsie says he'll join in a few minutes. All right, we have awesome. to hear his rant. I, I don't think he liked it. He said like he stopped watching it or something. I think he just had stuff to do. Uh yeah. So another kind of sad. While they're in the basement, they discovered Pinky was planning her p parents' 500th birthday. <laughs> That's kind of sad because. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Pinkie Pie, I've got some news for you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they last that long. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of like a little bit dark. That was like the darkest humor I've ever seen in this show because, you know, obviously <laughs> the long. obvious joke is ponies die before then. Yeah. Apparently horses live forever. 
Well, yeah, unless they somehow become yeah, al- well, yeah. alicorns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Become yeah. alicorns Another thing forever. that um, I wanted to bring up was that the, they said they'd have peace for a thousand moons. A thousand moon cycles, as I googled last time from the movie, <laughs> yeah. is only about three years. So what happens after? Well, three that, years? that sounds like a, maybe a relatively normal thing for a peace treaty. Maybe they were, maybe they were in conflict. Like actually, kind of, you know, a cold war going on. We don't really know. They obviously wouldn't go into details like that. But now they have like an official treaty now. <laughs> I'm looking yeah. way too deep into it. I'm sure, but. <laughs> <laughs> so deep into a politics, little shy. What's yeah, wrong with it, it you? Was kind of like he a, could be a politician. Episode. We've talked about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little shy, twenty sixteen. Woo for president. <laughs> no, no. We should all be voting for calm twenty sixteen. Everybody knows that. Give us gi- little shy. Give us all free derpy figurines. <laughs> yes, that would be a requirement. <laughs> all right, but but back on track. Uh, the last thing I have written down was just one of the silly gags of Pinkie Pie going up the slide back backwards. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just thought that was really funny. That was, I think that was the funniest moment in the episode for me personally. Yeah, I thought it was funny too. I don't know what I kind of found it funny was like back when like Twilight was like chewing on her um, hoof, nails just come off. Yeah, yeah, they, they've done that a few times. Yeah. But no, I think the thing that really made me laugh with the Pinkie Pie slide was uh, Fluttershy just asking, "So do we just go back up the slide or what?" <laughs> yeah, like they actually addressed <laughs> it for once. Like Pinkie yeah, like Pie it, always it, does it, random if stuff. If they hadn't addressed it, it, it would have it wouldn't have been as funny. But it, since yeah. they, they realized, wait a minute, what did she just do? I don't know. I think <laughs> a lot of funnier. Pinkie Pie's humor is random and like it doesn't get addressed. I think that's I don't know. It kind of goes both ways. It could work either way. Yeah, it, I, I, like it does go both ways. I feel like it's better when they address it. It's like, wait, how does she do this? Yeah, yeah. 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 So that depletes my list of notes. Did anybody else take notes? <laughs> I don't. I'm still kind of confused about this, but. Pink and well, the slide all the way back to where Yeah, she well, I guess that I was just a Pinkie Pie moment. I, I can't really explain that. Yeah. Um, I noticed. She also I slid noticed. all the way back from Yakakistan. Yeah, wait, all right. Well, what I noticed was they yeah. were in, like, Dodge Junction. That's south of Ponyville. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, the train went the wrong way. Oh, it did? Okay. That makes yeah. a little more sense. But, I, like, at first I was like, oh, are they mixing up the lore again? Is Ponyville suddenly down in the south? Yeah. Or, I don't know. Um, yeah, you know, um, Why didn't she get like Cadence to teleport her to the uh, thing? Exactly. Yeah, maybe guess. maybe yeah. she hasn't been there. Or something. I think there's a lot of uh, like discussion about can you teleport without line of sight or without having been there before that sort of stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the snow would have complicated things. Who knows? <laughs> the snow would have disrupted it. Yeah, disrupted the teleportation field. Oh, another note that I had. This was a really small one, but um, where Pinkie Pie brought in all the snow for them and said, because <laughs> snow is snow no matter where you are. Yeah. Why didn't the writers just write in, snow is snow no matter where you go? Yeah, that would have been, that would have yeah. sounded better. But uh, yeah. speaking, speaking of writers, I heard, I thought I read in passing somewhere, I think this was a new writer, but was it, uh, there was some connection to the the, the uh, Brony writer from uh, season th- three, four? I don't know. Let me check. I should confirm before I say anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, was Brody's that Nick world Con Falone? I'm, I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Mm. I only got like one more bullet, but it's like during the scene where oh. it's like outside of Sugar Cube where you sold. All right, I was Dr- wrong. It's actually a brand new writer. It is. Okay. Yep, this was his first episode that we've seen so far. Ah, we've well, seen. I was confused with his writing. Yeah, so well, I, so I think the the biggest downfall of the episode was its predictability, but. It's yeah. My Little Pony. I think we've come to expect predictability. At least, you know, it's kind of all yeah. about the jokes and gags and character development along the way, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm done with my list. <laughs> Wait, you had the um, list? <laughs> exactly. Twilight, go home. S- some, okay. Some some of the people were being extremely annoying in the chat when they heard about Yakistan and all the people were just saying the two A words. Like, ah, ah you get that. Or well, we're not talking about the chat. We're talking about the episode. Yeah, we're I talking, know. Just, <laughs> ignore, speaking ignore of the chat, comments. I, I also saw them yeah. talking about um, like that one glow in the dark toy. That yeah. there okay. was one like unicorn accessory to go with it, <laughs> and everyone was just kept eating it like for the for a solid minute after it. Yeah. <laughs> what well, about the voice teddy pear one? <laughs> where you were? Let's, let's not talk about the commercials. That's the last yeah, thing we should yeah, talk about. The commercials. <laughs> That's this what everyone here to hear discussion. about. I think the only exception is Gak, if that would make a return. Gak, yeah. <laughs> wanted to be Gak back. back. Or maybe, maybe the Gyro Bowls. The Gyro Bowls? Uh, that's an OG fandom thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to... Well, I'm sure someone... But, it's, yeah. So, about the episode, I thought it was... All right, I mean... 
what, yeah. what more is there to say? It's like the Spike episode of the main six is really. Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. that. Like, th I feel like this one wasn't as bad as the Spike one because there was still more humor in it that I liked over the Spike one. Um, but, like, aside from that, it was pretty predictable. You know, like, at, it was predictable to the point where I was making a joke before it even happened. You know, but at, at risk of being too harsh on it, I did think that the humor, there was something different about it. Like, you, there were parts where I didn't really know if I was supposed to be laughing or not. Like... Was that a joke? <laughs> like, what? Oh, I'm trying to think of like an example, but it really something about the humor really felt weaker, but still not you know not terrible, but just weaker. It must, it's got to be the new writer or something. I don't know. Yeah, He's, they've, yeah. they've got to adjust. Mm. Also, like when they, like when they get mad and they say yak smash, I just keep thinking Hulk smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was maybe that was a reference, but yeah, the yaks yeah. were like real jerks. I, I think we discussed this already, but like, why did they like why did they put up with that? Yeah, like, uh, the, those I are supposed to be know. diplomats. Diplomats are supposed to, you know, be willing to compromise. Yeah, but, you know, one of my predictions was that the diplomats would be really bad jerks that you'd want to declare war on. Then when Pinky would go there, everyone would be nice and friendly. And j that'd be kind of like a social commentary on how just a few people can mess it up for a whole country sort of stuff. Oh, that, and that would be actually really interesting. It would say. have been. Yeah. And they actually thought, actually thought yeah. they were going that direction when she saw the, the baby yak or whatever. He was all friendly Why and cute-looking. the writers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that would have been really that would have been all right for as a kids show, but also really like I said, social commentary for adults. That'd be really interesting. But they didn't go that direction. I really thought they would. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> I wish there was like war in this episode, like the yaks battle the um, ponies. That now 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 that would have been cool. Have we ever maybe? Like I said, I was surprised when they mentioned the word war, but have they ever actually? Is that part of? Equestria's lore at all? Um, uh, well, they wasn't there like some sort of war in like that episode with like the buffaloes and, and yeah. Appaloosa? That, yeah. Yeah. that was really more of just kind of a conflict. Not yeah, really I, I guess war. I guess you're right. That is probably one of the closest comparisons. But I'm thinking uh, like but they also had the uh, Equestrian like Royal Guard. Like yeah. why else would you have a guard other than to fend off war? Yeah, and they were and kind the of defending against the, the changelings. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. But I mean, we've never really heard war itself being talked about in the episode in the show, have we? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, like against the country or something. I'll remember. I have to go back and watch all the episodes. <laughs> yeah, BRB. I'll do that right now. <laughs> okay, right back. Because <laughs> I mean, the show's explored some pretty dark stuff, like with Sombra and slavery and all that. And guess which episodes I've been watching? In Greek mythology. Uh, I wonder what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, should we jump in the ratings now? I think so. I want to. Uh... I, I want to bring in Tootsie badly. We need Tootsie yeah, right now. Yeah, we do now. need his rant. Where is he? What's everybody text to see? <laughs> we need him now. We've Maybe waited we like three enough, reviews just to waited for him. We yeah. think so did, we did he him. say? Have to believe. Did he say in the chat he really didn't like this one left, or is it like he said he just? I, had I think he just had stuff to do. What? What's more important than <laughs> than watching ponies? <laughs> well, we're watching ponies entertain diplomats. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> All right. So I mean, if he joins, we can obviously have his, his classic rant. But uh, let's start with ratings. Starting with Draco, if you're here. I give it an eight out of ten. An eight? Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. All right. Drummer shy. It was really like, it, it was really again. It was undecided, but I thought it was pretty boring. But fair rating. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Seven. Yep. Okay. I'm a, I'm gonna see in super meme. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, we should we should elaborate a little bit more, but I mean there's nothing really. There's to talk not really about, much to do. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, my, like for me, it was kind of it, it had a few funny moments, but aside from that, it was kind of really predictable. Um, I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten. I was kind of bored. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's 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 above the low rating. Yeah, that's it's pretty low down. compared to most of our ratings. It's decreasing. Like, Be eight, prepared. It's eight going used down. to be low here. <laughs> I'm going, going to get down. I'm just kidding. You okay. are our hope, Tyler. No, right. I'm not giving a low rating. I thought the episode was pretty good. I mean, it was more better than the Spike episode, but <laughs> I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5? Oh, that's, that's pretty high. All right. Yeah, that's pretty high. All, All right, eyes on Little Shy. Oh, boy. No pressure, All right? right? So well, I, had, I had a rating in mind as soon as, you know, like while I was watching the episode. But uh, like I said before, predictability is kind of what we expect. I don't, I can't really take too many points off for that. But where I thought it really was something was wrong was the humor. It really fell off to me personally. Maybe I got to rewatch it. But my first impressions rating for now is going to be a seven out of ten. I feel so mean. <laughs> <Come to this. laughs> yes, I thought six was kind of low. Like I, if the humor was just a little bit better, it'd be an eight for me. At least you know, based on first impressions, these are all prone to be changed. But 
No, I like the humor. The problem was it was just so predictable. I didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the average rating there? I wonder what it. <laughs> uh, so what was it? Seven. Wait, Draco. What was yours? Eight. It's you. What's that? Six or no? Eight. What's that? He said eight. Okay, eight. Oh, eight point five. I'm gonna put this to a calculator. Do the maths. Okay. No, I I have a seven. You have an eight. He has an oh super cat <laughs> finally <laughs> rating. You're just in time, super cat. What's your rating? Oh, crap. Right. Um, um, Did you watch it? Seven plus six. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on. I'm gonna do the math. Let oh, me Tootsie Roll Tootsie! 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 Tootsie!